Finally, after months of waiting, we finally have a release date for the third season of Star Trek Discovery. And it's coming sooner than we thought. The bonus being, we've got plenty of Star Trek content in store for the remainder of 2020. Hey everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome to Trek Central. We've been expecting a date for Star Trek Discovery Season 3 for some time now. Initially, some of us expected it to be delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, however, CBS did confirm earlier this year, via a teaser, that the series was still on track for 2020. Now, we've got a concrete date and details on when you can watch this show. But what do we know about the third season? Let's warp in and check it out. Star Trek Discovery Season 3 will officially air on October 15th, 2020. Trekkies in the United States can watch via CBS All Access, Canada viewers can watch via CTV Sci-Fi and stream via Crave, while it appears that international viewers can watch via Netflix. Netflix appears to remain the international distributor for Discovery for now, however this does change we'll be sure to let you know. Before we get into what we know about Season 3 of Discovery, we have to make a note that now we are getting 23 weeks of continual Star Trek content, with Lower Decks starting off on August 6th, all the way up until the 7th of January 2021, where we can finally leave 2020 to rest. Yay! However, this isn't the only great thing about Discovery still coming out in 2020, as this will mean we've had 32 episodes of Star Trek this year, the most since 1999, which is an achievement in itself. Modern Trek is truly progressing and pushing the way forward. I'm excited! We're going to get some great Star Trek content coming out and we here at Trek Central will be here every week with a review and our thoughts on each episode that comes out. So look forward to those as well and make sure to hit that subscribe button. The announcement of the release date for Discovery Season 3 comes with a small video of Commander Michael Burnham holding up a Federation flag on a barren world. We've seen this promotional material before as well as a group shot of the Discovery crew next to Burnham. We know from other materials such as the trailer for Season 3 that the Federation is either no longer existing in the future or has become a shell of what it previously stood for in other iterations of Trek. It seems to be the mission of the third season for the crew of Discovery to reignite hope in the galaxy of the future and bring back the Federation. Now, how that might be achieved, we'll have to wait and find out. The official Star Trek announcement describes Season 3 as the following. After following Commander Burnham into the wormhole in the second season final, Season 3 of Star Trek Discovery finds the USS Discovery crew landing into an unknown future far from the home they once knew. Now living in a time filled with uncertainty, the Discovery crew, along with the help of some new friends, must work together to restore hope to the Federation. So what do we know about the series so far? Well, after the second season final, the Discovery was launched into the 32nd century via the wormhole to keep the sphere data out of reach of the ever-evolving mechanical AI that Section 31 created, Control. This does put the USS Discovery and her crew beyond all known Star Trek canon so far, so the series of Discovery can now push the final frontier even further than anyone previously has. We know that Burnham and the Discovery are separated upon arrival into the 32nd century, so we may begin the season with Burnham alone on a distant planet. She will, however, meet up with our brand new main cast member, Cleveland Booker, played by David Ajala. This was revealed via the Star Trek Universe 2019 Comic Con panel. We have seen a couple of groups attacking Burnham and Booker made up of multiple different Star Trek species, Cardassians and even Lurians. We finally get some more Lurians in Trek, and I hope they're as big as a chatterbox as Morn was in Star Trek Deep Space Nine. In this 32nd century, it seems that the Federation is no more, or has shrunk, becoming a shell of what it once was. There is at least a man, who might be the Federation president, who still has a flag waiting in his office, ready to show off to anybody who comes by for the Federation to ultimately be reborn. This person seems someone of importance, as he speaks to Commander Burnham about waiting for her. Theories have been going mad on this and what he actually means by that, and I expect we'll talk about this in more detail before Season 3 actually comes around. Now it does appear that we'll be visiting the planet of Trill in Season 3, with scenes from the planet being seen as well as symbiote caves on the planet. We might even get a new symbiote or old ones like Dax. There is reportedly a new non-binary character that will be joining the crew of Discovery, and as perhaps a character that is seen floating within the Trill cave, but we are looking forward to how they will be introduced into the show. The full returning cast of Discovery Season 3 includes the following actors and actresses. Sonequa Martin-Green as Commander Michael Burnham, Doug Jones as Commander Saru, Anthony Rapp, Lieutenant Commander Paul Stamets, Mary Wiseman as Ensign Sylvia Tilly, Wilson Cruz as Dr. Hugh Culber, and finally Michelle Yeoh as Philippa Georgiou. 
I personally hope that Tig Notara will cameo as Commander Jet Reno, as she stole every scene she appeared in during the second season. Please CBS, can we have more of Reno, and her sarcastic but fantastic personality. Oh, and Linus as well, because who doesn't want him in an elevator? So there we have it, Star Trek Discovery Season 3 is not that far away, but even better, as we previously mentioned we've got non-stop Star Trek content for a while, so if you've been looking for more Trek content, now really is the time to be prepared, as the brand new animated show, Star Trek Lower Decks, kicks off this August 6th. Lower Decks will end at the start of October, with Discovery Season 3 kicking off on October 15th, taking us right through until the 7th of January 2021. Non-stop Star Trek for a little while. It's an exciting time to be a Trekkie, but do let us know what you think via the comment section below. Don't forget you can also tell us your thoughts via social media, either via Twitter or Facebook. Let us know. I know that we're excited, but it's going to be a busy couple of months ahead, and oh boy. If you want to keep up to date with all things Star Trek, be sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video. You can also visit our website for brand new articles, as well as join our community Discord server to chat with like-minded Trekkies about the series and movies you love. For now, I've been Captain Jack, thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon. Live long and prosper my friends.